kept thinking, why is this so hard? Hi there. The last video I shared was how to turn a backpack into a crossbody bag or a, a purse that you can hang from your shoulder. I've become obsessed with convertible backpacks. If you Google convertible backpacks slash crossbody, a bunch of different backpacks will pop up and some of them are, to use the term convertible is, is stretching it a bit. A lot of them will have like the backpack, but they didn't have long shoulder straps. So you just, just discard the backpack straps and put it over your shoulder. Um, yeah, that's fine. Who wants things falling off your shoulder when you're trying to travel. So with that in mind, I was looking at some of the ones that, that actually do have the handles that change from backpack to crossbody. And I kept thinking, why is this so hard? Why are people just not doing this with like all the backpacks? Why are they not all convertible? Because it's so easy to do. And so I had a couple of old purses that I bought to resell that hadn't resold. And I decided that a couple of them lended themselves to me doing an experiment to try and turn them into backpacks. So these were purses and now they're purses slash backpacks. The purse basically came like this and it had a shoulder strap that was fixed to the sides. Now I very carefully cut the shoulder strap off you see that so it's hardly noticeable that it was there to begin with there's two ways that I found to make a purse into a convertible backpack and this is one of them and I'm sure there's others but these are the two that I am gonna kind of gravitate towards so what I did on the back of this is I put two o-rings down here cut a hole in the bag and riveted right into the bag I put a little leather strip into that hole, put a rivet through it, and it had the, the O-ring on it. And I did that on each side. And then I found a matching piece of leather that was long enough, but you can use um, just nylon webbing, uh, seat belt webbing, anything like that. You don't have to use leather. But I had a piece of leather that was really close in color. And so I cut two pieces of it. And this is real similar to the design I used on changing a backpack into a crossbody. And so this is actually two pieces of leather and I, then I put at the top, you either need rings or this contraption which I made just out of a piece of leather and you'll see um, that it creates a channel here and here. And then I, I took a piece of that original strap that I cut off and made a handle and it rivets here. So it's it's held on with these rivets, and these rivets add strength to the sides and create that channel in the middle where the two pieces of leather now come through. I joined them at the top. So in the middle here is where the two pieces come together, and this makes a shoulder strap. It's also the center portion, and so when the bag is in backpack mode, the strap doesn't slide. It stays fixed in the center, so you're balanced. To go into crossbody mode, you just pull this up. Now it is adjustable and I made it very adjustable. You can also carry it as a shoulder bag. So the way you would adjust this, and I did this with Chicago screws, but basically I just took the, the leather, punched holes every inch and a half, almost all the way up, and then with the Chicago screw, you just place it into the hole that you want. And so it's very, very adjustable, both as a backpack and as a crossbody bag. So I'm actually uh, carrying this right now, and I'm really enjoying that backpack feature. I'm not locked in to carrying it as a backpack, and because it was originally a purse, when it's not in backpack mode, it looks like a purse, not a backpack. So um, this is this one really lended itself very well to being converted. The other one I have is another way of uh, turning a bag into a backpack, and this is 
actually made by Land's End. It's a vintage bag, and it originally just looked like this. It came with this crossbody strap and the two D-rings on the side. And what I did to convert it was I added an O-ring or a D-ring here and here and an O-ring here. So what you do is you simply take off the strap, feed it through the O-ring, reconnect it here and here. Now you need to make sure you have a strap that's long enough uh, to be comfortable as a backpack. And now this is a backpack. Now the difference between this one is there's nothing in the middle here to keep it from going off center. Once it's centered on your back, it'll pretty much stay that way. But when you go to take it off, this will slide through. You can come up with different ways. Some people will like uh, put this through double. There's a knot you can tie in it. All of those things take away from the length of your strap. So um, you'll just have to figure that kind of thing out on your own. But it's a really cute, small size day bag backpack. Okay, let's look at another one, and this one I actually found this way. I actually got two of them. They were identical, and they were at an estate sale, and they were vintage, sold like this. These bags were originally designed to be both backpack, shoulder, and crossbody bags. And they have the three, the triangle of D-rings here, and they came with a strap, and this strap was not your highest quality, and it connected here and here on these D-rings. So you could quickly switch it out and be backpack. The problem with the strap was it was too short. And so when you put it on your back, it, it just really was too short to be comfortable. So what did I do to alter it? Um, the first thing I did was I made, I made this strap out of a webbing material. And this is a cloth. It's almost like a seat belt, but it's a little more cottony. And I used the, and this is a good idea, if this is the, if this is the route you want to take to make yours into a backpack, so it works really good. I just um, put a hook on one end, sewed it down, got uh, this little thing here, that little thing there, makes this an infinity adjustment, clip to the end. And so now this is very adjustable. It can go very short or very long. And the longer um, works better in the backpack mode. But when you're ready to go out of backpack mode, you can just shorten it up. You can even shorten it as much as half, hook to the sides. Now you have a shoulder bag, lengthen it, and now you have a crossbody. When it was in backpack mode, it all tended to sort of hang forward like that. So I made, I added a little couple of D-rings and a clip to clip it closed. So it's not too hard if you have a few skills like riveting and hole punching to turn a, a bag into a backpack. Other times the way the bag is designed, it won't lend itself to being converted. But uh, in the case of these two, it, it worked fine. Now I'm gonna show you another trick. It's not as good but it does work. So let's say you've got a bag that has, and it has to have a couple of little handles like this. So you've got a bag with some handles and a strap, but you, you're tired of carrying it around all day, so you want to put it on your back. Here's what you do. You remove one side of the strap, put it through the handles, reconnect it. Now you're going to put your arms through this, And now you've got your hands free and you can carry your bag the rest of the day on your back. I really like this design. It switches from one phase to another very easily without disconnecting anything. Think about some of those um, drawstring bucket bags that are out there these days. Wouldn't you like to be able to throw that on your back and have it be a backpack too? So that could be done with this method. Hope you enjoyed that and I will see you next time.